Welcome back to Wii 2002 Evil Resident Jill playthrough episode 13. Make. Wait, what the fuck? Are you alone? Am I? Uh, is it working? Okay, yes, it unfroze and it's still going. I was very concerned for a second. Well, at least it would have it happened at the beginning. Yes. Um, but and this stupid hunter pushed me off the screen. I knew they were coming, so I have a shotgun because they only take like two or three shotgun sh blasts if you do it right. Ariel, you missed. I did. Yes. How did you miss? Don't worry, I have an edit for that later. <laughs> I believe in three. There's poison hunters. Ugh. Or maybe no, that's Code Veronica. I think you're. Which is the actual three? Yes. I really wish they re decided to remake that instead of four, because out of all of them, that game needed it the most. Yeah. And uh, I don't know. We'll see. I guess. Okay, I'll shoot his head. I'm waiting. There we go. Yeah, it did. It. I, I kind of wish they sure. added Crimson Heads to the 2 and 3 remakes. I wish that they had done a little more to them. Well, I, I wish they did more to the 3 remake. Well, not even more to them. Just, I wish, not unlike other people, that it was more like this rather than an updated, like, the game. <sighs> Instead of doing a modern version of the game... I was hoping for an updated version of the game. If that makes any sense. No, no, I, I, un I understand what you're trying to say. Yeah. Because, like, part of the gameplay to me that makes it Resident Evil, and obviously 7 throws a bit of a wrench in that, is the stationary camera bullshit. <laughs> and stuff like that. Which, yeah, I think they did a decent job doing the game without that, but I do think that it changes the experience a bit, not having it. Uh, no, it changes it a lot. You know, Resident Evil 5 has a... The DLC Lost in Nightmares, which is basically just another mansion. <laughs> um, it has a mode with stationary cameras, and it's unplayable. Un yeah, you know, I could see that. <laughs> if the game it's, was built to not be, like... It still controls, like, RE5, and by, like, RE5, I mean, like, RE4 with the aiming. Yeah. But so, you're at a fixed camera angle, so you can't yeah, see anything. Yeah, no, that, 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 that doesn't work. It doesn't no, work it doesn't. that way. <laughs> even, even... It, if you're only fighting one really slow enemy, which is all that's in Lost in Nightmares, by the way. It's one very slow enemy. Multiple times, or just one enemy? Okay, well, there's more than one of them. You can <laughs> kill it. But okay. it's just the same enemy over and over. And then Wesker, which is just the, the Wesker fight from the main games, only you don't inject him. You have to actually punch them and shit. Uh, uh. Well, they tried, I guess. I mean, it's one of the best things in Resident Evil 5. Which is kind of sad. Oh, wait. I think the thing is going to happen. What, a crimson head? Not even in... Maybe. I don't know if I already took care of it. I hear something. Okay, he's still not dead. And I'm like, all right, all right, you son of a bitch. I want to go change clothes. That didn't work. No, it didn't. The number of times I have tried to kill this asshole. <laughs> <laughs> it's it's ridiculous. He just keeps getting back up. It would be comedic if I wasn't so annoyed by it. Yeah, I gotta change clothes again. I had to Are unlock we... the outfit, so I'm going to change clothes. 
back to G.I. Jill. God damn it. Yep. And what did you know? Brian's not here again. Nope. Brian once again has disappeared off the face of the earth. Why? Ah. Pretty soon, Brian's just going to be gone and it's going to be me and you. You and me against the world. Oh, oh bye, Ariel. I gotta go disappear. Oh, man. I'll have to redo that video I did in our first year where I just pretended to be all of us. <laughs> I don't even know if it was funny. Yeah, Pro probably wasn't. Probably not, no. I think that was Ariel Tries to Play Toho, which is a clickbait title, but also not wrong, because I was trying to play Toho, it just didn't load. Wait, you never got to play it? <laughs> I, uh, the, I, the reason I uploaded it anyway is because the entire adventure of trying to get it to work included my computer spazzing out and having a seizure where my cursor was 500 places at once and flickering and teleported between them and then it had music and nothing else and then it was like, okay, fine, I'm just gonna look for some weird-ass Toho Flash games and we'll play those. <laughs> and I did. <laughs> but I specifically remember the part where my computer had a seizure. And really, that's the main reason why I uploaded it anyway. <laughs> I was still using custom cursors at that point, too. I haven't done that on this computer. I can't use a custom cursor. It throws me off. Yeah, I, I got They never click it. in the right spot. Well, the one I got was... Um, it wasn't bad. It's still worked the same-ish, like, the same general shape and direction. So it wasn't too hard to line things up. I think the reason I stopped using it is because every time I ran... I think every time I ran Fraps, it would reset me to the default window scheme. Uh oh. And I would have to put everything back. And I think I just got tired of doing it. <laughs> Could be wrong. But I, I remember that happening, where every time I tried to record something, it would decide, Hey, you know what? You don't need to have a theme anymore. No, pass me. That's not right, and you know it. There you go. It did it. <laughs> it's a brooch! Except it's clearly brooch. not a brooch. It's a key! It changed into a key. <gasps> Hey, look at that! I shape shifted into a key. Because obviously. Ariel, when was the last time you played Code Veronica? Uh, a long ass time ago. Yes. Do you remember how stupid most of Steve's lines were? Um, I remember thinking he was a fucking idiot, so yeah, I guess. <laughs> Do you remember the cutscene where he completely contradicts himself within the span of, like, 30 seconds? I do not have memories that specific, no. Okay, there's a cutscene where Steve says, um... Oh, you can't, re you can't rely on people, uh, Claire. All you can rely on is these, and he pulls out his guns. Mm -hmm. 30 seconds later, he's just like, don't worry, Claire, you can rely on me. <laughs> Yeah, that sounds like something stupid. <laughs> it sounds about right. For uh, him as a character. <laughs> Fucking... I, I remember the Golden Lugers. Yeah. Uh, and how your gameplay was extended for like another hour because he's a dick. Yeah. And then how your gameplay is extended by another half of the game because he was looking at dead ass. Yeah, these these things happen. I believe he's like seventeen. Okay, but there's only so much I can take, Ariel. I mean, I'm just saying that men take longer to go through puberty and are usually stupid for a while. 
Okay, but he's literally in a life and death situation. I think survival instincts take control at some point. Okay, time. but he's being filled with not only adrenaline, but testosterone. <laughs> and that makes you stupid. Ariel, you can try to justify Steve all you want. That's the extent I will of my still justification not like him. for it. <laughs> Oh my god, it's a snake. Oh my god, it's back. I thought he was never gonna show up again after eating Richard. But here he is. Do you have to kill him now? Yes. Like, do you actually have to kill it? Yes. It has to... It's death animation, it knocks into that bookshelf and that... By knocking into that bookshelf, it like breaks the glass that's on this, and you can't get it because there's glass in the way. And yeah, you could just break the glass yourself, but no, there's a snake. <laughs> <laughs> ah, it's a snake. Ah, oh, that. Oh. You know that thing would have just eviscerated Cl or Jill immediately. Not even that. I feel like it wouldn't have taken multiple grenade launcher shots. Well, that too. It's, it's a grenade launcher. <laughs> it's really powerful. Powerful. Especially, especially against, against living against things. Living thing. And I'm pretty sure that snake's alive. I mean, not anymore. But I'm pretty sure it was. Yeah. It's the last book, volume two, which is in and of itself a contradiction. Because the Did last... it actually say the last book, volume two? Yes, because the first medallion was in the last book, volume one, which is also a contradiction. I hate this series. I mean, it hates you too, probably. I mean, probably. How do you feel about RE8 playing like RE7? Oh, I was gonna start talking about RE7, actually, that I was very concerned when I saw that it was first person, that it wasn't gonna feel like a Res Resident Evil game. That it well, was gonna... I mean, it felt more like a classic Resident Evil game than... It did! Like, once you actually got into it, and then you're finding stupid keys and shit, and I'm like, alright, yeah, sure, this is Resident Evil. But I was very concerned at first. But at the same time, I didn't care for the puzzles in 7. I, I thought they puzzles? were all like baby puzzles. I mean, I guess there was that escape room section. <laughs> yeah, but that's that's like the only like super memorable section. Yeah. I feel like stabbing a hunter wouldn't I, I mean, I stabbed him. him in the eye, so, you know, there's that. Oh, is that what happened? Pretty sure. It's about where the knife was sticking out from, and then it was swinging blindly, so... <sighs> now, technically, stabbing it in one eye shouldn't really stop the other eye from working, but... Eh. Well, you'd still close the other eye in pain. Yeah. Ugh. You also think it wouldn't just let go of you. Oh boy, a metal object. My favorite. Not a metal almost emblem as, or anything. It's almost as good as wood objects. It's almost as good as new ways. That was too forced. Yeah, I was. I tried. And that was the issue. <laughs> yeah, you just gotta let it happen. Yeah. But hey. Got some shotgun shells. What gauge? Doesn't matter. Our shotgun takes everything. Shotguns are shotguns. Don't you know? Haven't you played a video game? I have played a video game, but I also own actual <laughs> God, shotguns. I use a video game wrong. <laughs> I have played a video game, but I, in our house alone, we have three different shotguns. I can tell three you right now. Three different video games. <laughs> three different video games. <laughs> I can tell you right now, you can't play an Xbox with a PlayStation controller, okay? <laughs> yeah, okay, I, what if I told you I try? <laughs> <laughs> I mean, when we were kids, we tried to play PlayStation games in the PC. Uh, same. 
because we were like, hey, they're both discs. And, and then I ended up listening to soundtracks. I don't even think it did anything for us. Oh. Oh, I think we Poor also thing. tried the opposite, and that might be what I was thinking of. We put a ah, the Mo game. disc. Yes, we need those. You gotta get Mo discs, Ariel. I have to get three. You gotta get three Mo discs. No, not three Mo, just three. <laughs> what is it called? What is a Mo disc? Uh. Modem opera. I don't know. <laughs> I don't know. What if is a Mo disc? I think I looked it up actually when I was playing and immediately. Forgot. Magneto optical drive. <laughs> it's a it's a floppy disc. Base sorta because it's magnetic. Oh my God. Magnets. How do they work? <laughs> how do? How magnets? Tune in next time, and we will probably not explain that, because how do? Oh, the part's over. <laughs>